Is there one area of performance where Ferrari needed to improve last year's car to, to get closer? Um, uh, we feel like obviously there were certain circuits, you know, like uh, Singapore, Monza, um, Vegas, that in a certain particular of cor corners over one lap we were as fast or sometimes even quicker than the Red Bull over one lap. As soon as we put the car in race stream, we saw we were losing relative to a Red Bull four to five tenths, just uh, when you put the car in high fuel and use tires. And this is the gap you know, that we're trying to, to, to close this year with a different car, with a different point of view on, on, on the car and, 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 and the way that we are approaching the year. And hopefully also with aerodynamics, we'll also make the car quicker in, a, in different kind of tracks. Like uh, we saw Qatar, we were weak, Budapest, longer medium speed corners where, where we were clearly suffering last year. What kind of support have you had from both the team and the Tifosi since the announcement was made about your future? Yeah, on the emotional side, to be honest, still not a lot because there's still 24 races ahead of us and I guess for sure the last couple of races or the last race will be emotional, especially because I will leave behind a great group of people that I've worked very well alongside. I've met some very good human beings in Ferrari and I've also met a lot of Tifosi around the world that have made me feel at home right from the beginning. So we will leave that emotional part more towards uh, for the end of the year. Until then, it's obviously head down and try to do the, the best possible job for this team for the, for the last year. I know um, from Fred and company that uh, they're going to give me full support, uh, that if we are in a, a championship fight this year, we're going to push flat out to achieve it together and, um, and have a nice year last year together no and then um, uh, the future is long uh, i have plenty hopefully plenty of years in, in my career career ahead of me so let's see where the where the future takes me where have you set the bar for this year in terms of your goals can rb join the battle at the front uh i mean i would love to say yes but truth is where yeah we're trying to certainly build something right now and i think this is a, a year where the team yeah really tries to establish themselves and kind of stand on their own two feet and, and obviously yeah, then try to establish a, a fight towards the front of the midfield. I think, yeah, wins and podiums are a, a little bit of a, probably a wish at the moment more than maybe a reality. But uh, as the year goes on, I think we will progress and hopefully uh, keep getting closer and closer to the front. Yeah, today is kind of the real kind of shakedown that making sure we get everything working right and yeah, uh, focus a lot on the on the long run and also try a different setup. Just have a good feeling on the on the car. But uh, yeah, the car is working in the right direction and uh, of course there's definitely a lot room for us to be improved and to be adjust. But uh, so far I think it's uh, been a promising day and we're also able to complete all the tests. The team made no bones about the fact that they were trying to be aggressive with this car. Are you feeling that behind the wheel or is it too early to say at this stage? I think we made a step. Uh, it's clear to feel that difference already when we was out there, you know, one week ago in the TV day. You feel already a little bit of a bigger change compared to what we used to over the last year and a half. So yeah, the aggressive approach, at least, you know, at the moment, everything is working in the right direction. We don't have any surprising issues. So everything is just in order to making sure we tick all the boxes. And uh, yeah, we go from that. And uh, compared to the competitors, it's too early to say anything, to be honest. The car is very different, um, so that takes some ironing out, but in a positive way. So I think it's it's the direction that we needed to head, and um, once we get it figured out, it'll be a better car. Um, but yeah, for the moment, I've only done 11 laps, so I'm looking forward to a whole day tomorrow. And um, yeah, hopefully we can just understand a few of the issues we had today and get on top of them. We well, saw you had that moment when maybe when you hit a bump. Kind of just talk us through that. What happened there? <laughs> yeah, it was unexpected. Um, but yeah, we. We just bottomed and um, it snapped pretty quickly. But um, no, at least, at least I know not to do it tomorrow. Yeah, it was good. Good morning because I think the main thing is on the first morning not to have issues. And uh, yeah, we got pretty much everything done. So that's always a good start. And that's the main thing for day one is to get out there, get running, get a bit of a feel of the car. And um, what I'm positive about, I definitely feel improvements compared to last year. And actually, the initial feeling was quite similar than what I had in the simulator. So at least that correlation is more or less as it should. So on, on that sense, a good starting point. Definitely step forward, but I think uh, everyone has made steps forward. And then it, it's a question of who made the biggest one. But um, at least, yeah, 
like I said, initial feeling, good correlation as, as expected. So um, now I think the next days it will be getting a bit more towards fine tuning and actually finding more, more performance. Relatively smooth, we had a couple of issues towards the end of the session, all fixed now. Um, trying to understand the car, understand its envelope. Um, still a ways to go. We, we need to kind of understand just how different the car is, which it, which it is. Um, but yeah. We saw those issues with you getting pushed off the track. Are we allowed to know what they are? Or are they yeah, uh, fuel pump issue. So um, car goes into safety mode pretty quickly. I think when these cars run out of fuel, they, uh, they get very expensive. So uh, um, yeah, I was stopping on track just with this um, safe mode thing in the car. Nice to get back out. You know, it's always always just fun getting back in the car yeah, after after the winter off. So um, I think we had a, a pretty positive morning. Uh, we, we just focused on long runs, uh, really trying to address the issues that, you know, uh, that we had last year with the tires. And, you know, so that's going to be our main focus. I think we, um, we're happy about what we saw this morning, but there's clearly a lot of a lot of work to do, and uh, yeah, everyone's fired up to to investigate and and to learn about uh, this new car and see if we um, have made progress or not. Big change over the winter with Ayo Komatsu coming in as team principal. Now you're on the ground. How's the feeling in the team? What's the spirit like? I think it's it's good. The spirit is very good. I don't think anyone had anything against Gunter. You know, he, he was he, like family to most of uh, you know to most of us in in the team here. But at the end of the day, we're here to to compete and to you know create results. And we haven't had that um, progression that we were hoping for. When you go, you gave us a bit of high drama when you ran over that wing mirror today. But away from such drama, how was your first day in the cup? Yeah, I actually didn't see what it was. I saw there was some car part, but uh, uh, I think I took it. I hit it full on, didn't I? Um, so I cleaned the track, did my did my duty. Um, yeah, it was fine. Uh, our afternoon, you know, was mainly uh, just you know high fuel long runs, uh, learn about a car, trying some things um, with car and tires. It's obviously been our weakness last year, so you know that's that, that's been really the main focus today. So that was good, I think, um, positive from my side. Uh, no issues that we had on, on the technical side, so we, we, we've got everything done. 82 laps uh, under the belt, so that was a good start. I think everyone is, is pretty, pretty upbeat, uh, positive um, and happy to start into the season. Obviously, we've got a, a big you know, challenge uh, ahead of us uh, this year to, to recover from last year. We want to find performance, we want to do better, for sure. And, uh, that's that, but everyone is on board and, and ready.